what is up you guys and welcome back to another video today i have a very exciting video i told you the next video that you were gonna see was gonna be a what's in my clinical bag so i have been going to clinical now this was my second week at clinical so i feel like i'm kind of in the swing of it i only have six more weeks this lighting is like very so yes, I want to talk about what is in my clinical bag because I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what it, like what I need and what I've been using. So without further ado, let's get started. First, the bag. Okay, I've talked about this bag now like 5 million times, but this is the Drift Tote by 30 Years. I still get questions about this bag and whenever I bring it to school, people are always like, what bag is that? And I'm like, it's a drift show from 30 years. So this is in the pebble color. I love this bag. It's the absolute perfect size because I just don't like having a big bag where things get super lost and everything fits so well in here. So one of my favorite parts about this bag is that it has these little dots on the side. I don't know if it's picking it up on the camera, but these little dots. So that's like to help grip it against so it doesn't like fall down the side because nothing's more annoying than when you're walking and your straps are going like this. And it has one little pocket on the outside here where I keep my deodorant. This is the Dove Advanced Care. I always have deodorant in every bag with me because I just feel like, you know, you need deodorant. At least I need deodorant. Six hours sitting and I have to wear long sleeves because I have tattoos and compression socks because otherwise I'll die. So you can catch me wearing and reapplying my deodorant. The lighting is like changing again. So I'm gonna try to move. What is in the actual bag itself? So I always bring my iPad to clinical. I'm not allowed to use my iPad or go on my iPad while I am at clinical until we do like our debrief. That's my washer. It's a little bit loud. I wasn't expecting all of these external factors to really affect the video this much. But, um, so I always carry my iPad and then basically what happens is, so we go to clinical and when we get there, we get like, almost like, let's call it shift change report, dare I say, shift change report. but. Basically, it's just who our patient's gonna be, what we're assessing. It's pretty much gonna be like a full head to toe assessment from here on out, but in the beginning, we didn't start off with full head to toe. So then at the end um, of our day, we do like a debrief where we all get together in the conference room and we kind of talk and discuss. And that is like an hour and a half. So what I'll do is I'll print out my clinical packets, fill it out while we're like interacting with the patient. And then when we go to debrief, I'll pull my iPad out and I'll transfer all of that over. So it's like super easy to upload to Canvas where we have to turn it in. You might use Blackboard, not sure. But here's what I bring. So the first is pretty obvious. This is my stethoscope case. I usually just take my stethoscope out when I get there and keep it around my neck. Um, that's like what's easiest for me. I have the Lipman. If you guys want more details, all of this stuff, I'm pretty sure I talked about in my like nursing school supplies haul, or I have another video and it's like a nursing student gift guide or something like that, where I kind of talk about things that I would be gifted if I could. I also like to bring my own blood pressure cuff. I was required to have this for like anatomy and physiology because we learned about taking blood pressure so I already had one and I just bring this because there's limited like materials at the facility we're at um because like we eight people needing it at the exact same time is just a little crazy so I like to bring my own and then a nursing clipboard I wasn't sure if I was going to use this but oh my gosh you will use it and you guys she still creaks. If you've been here, you know that this is so creaky. And on the very first day, everyone was like. But I use this all the time because I'll put my clinical packet on it and I'll write while I'm in the room with the patient. So if you're like on the fence about getting one of these, um, get one and you're welcome because you will use it. This is just from Amazon and it was super cheap. And it folds up 
Um, so I'll put papers on this and literally fold it up and scoop it in my pocket too. So really, really great. And you will definitely use it, especially if you're not allowed to have your phone. And then one of the things that we have to do is um, we will get patients like medications and we will need to like write down all these details about them and like what nursing considerations are. So I bring these because these are farm flashcards and it makes it super easy. Again, we're not allowed to have um, our phones out, so I can't just Google it. And I don't wanna carry around like the Davis drug guide. So I really like these because this box is like super ripped, but I can just throw it in my bag and then everybody can use them that I'm with like on the floor. And it just is super, super great. And they're all really organized and super easy to find. And they have the, um, I don't wanna lose where this goes but they have like the name of it. They also have um, the type of drug that it is. And then they have like indications, actions, um, what you should keep in mind, how like, what do you need to know about it? So I really like that and I definitely use these and it just makes it really easy. So if you don't wanna carry around the Davis drug guide or you have to do something similar, I highly recommend these. I wasn't sure if I was gonna use them and I didn't use them during farm, but I do use them at clinical and probably will for the entire time that I'm going to school. So next up is this little RN notes. I haven't really had to use this, but my grandmother sent this to me. She was a nurse and it's so cute because, okay, the sun moved again. What is going on? I'm gonna kill the sun. Um, but my grandmother is a nurse and she's like so excited that I'm going to school. So she sent me this, I told her I was going and it's like a clinical pocket guide and it just has like procedures, assess, lifespan, emergency trauma, meds, um, IV fluids, stuff like that. Um, so I just keep it with me. I'm sure I'll use it and utilize it. If you guys do use this or you're a nurse and you work, like do you use something like this? And like, if you've been in school, like when is a good time to bring this? Like, what will I use it for? Yeah, I just kind of want to know what I can do with it. Cause I feel like sometimes there's so many tools out there, but you just don't know how to use them. So how can I use this? Cause I'm about it. I also have a little notebook. I don't typically use this as much because I have my clipboards, but I did use it on the first day to just kind of like jot down little notes or whatnot. Um, I guess if you don't want to look around the clipboard, you could do that, but the head to toe assessment is just so much. And then I also have these tribe RN cards that I like to just keep. Um, Again, I haven't really used, needed to use these, but I just keep them in my, in my clinical bag because there's no way I need them at lab. And then this, you guys, is a flipping must. I did not have this on the first day and I was like, what have I done? You can use essential oils too, but we had a patient and the reality of the situation is you're gonna have patients, especially if you're in a nursing home, that like, you know, they have accidents and it's okay but sometimes it is like, whew, it's a lot. So this is the Stink Balm Odor Blocker in the banana scent and you basically just take this and you rub it on your nose. And it like adds a barrier. So all I smell right now is bananas. I'm, a, I'm like a smell person. Some people are blood people. Some people don't like to cause other people pain. I can't smell things that smell bad. It's just, I can't do it. Then I have my pen light, you know, to measure pupil dilation. Use this bad boy every day, highly recommend. This actually came in my stethoscope case so I didn't have to buy. I have a miniature highlighter. I have a pen that has multiple colors and it like clicks down all of the different kinds. And then this is controversial, but for the clinical setting, I don't think it's a big deal. I have erasable pens. So this is really nice because sometimes I'll write something and maybe I write it in the wrong place and I can just go in and erase it and rewrite it. So highly recommend. These are the, I got them at Target. These are the Frixion Ball Erasable Clicker 07. I don't know. I'm not like a pen person. I can't imagine that people are, but I know that they there are. And that's pretty much everything that I keep in my clinical bag. It's very unexciting. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed or found it helpful. I know I don't have a ton of stuff. I obviously bring like a water bottle and stuff to school. I just feel like nobody cares about that. I have a hydro jug. 
And then I have like my papers and stuff. I just can't show you guys like the documents because the only ones I have printed have patient stuff on them and HIPAA. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it super helpful. I need to like go back and watch and see if like this is gonna work or if I need to refilm in this lighting. I will see ya next time. Bye.